is a great addition to any polar expedition training routine. If you're new to tire training, click on the link in the description below to learn how to make a tire rig and harness. Tire pulling simulates sled hauling. It uses the same muscle groups and movements. Pulling a tire during training allows your body to get used to the activity you'll be doing on the expedition. That way, when you start on the expedition, your body says, Hey, I remember this. This isn't so bad. I can do this. Here are some tips for your tire pulling routine. Maintain a good posture. Don't bend at the waist or lead with your head. If you have to put an extra effort into getting over a bump or pulling a heavy load, drive forward with your hips and get into the habit of keeping your head high. Incorporate your upper body by planting your poles in rhythm opposite to that of your legs. Use your poles not only for balance, but also to help propel you forward. Don't plant them too far ahead. In general, the basket or the base of the pole should go no further than beyond your front foot. Your poles should be used to push you forward, not pull you forward. At first, relax and find your natural pace, which will vary depending upon the weight of your tire and also the terrain. Every so often, challenge your pace by speeding up for a certain distance, maybe until you reach the next block, or perhaps for the duration of every fifth song in your playlist. If you always pull at the same pace, you can get into a speed slump where it's difficult to go faster. Pull on a variety of terrain. Your tire will be easier or harder to pull depending on the terrain. Grass feels different than concrete, which feels different than brick or forest floor or sand. The amount of friction makes all the difference. Even different types of concrete within one stretch of sidewalk can feel different. The same is true for snow, which can have big variations in temperature and dryness and age, which can all affect the friction on the sled. Be ready for those changes by pulling on different types of terrain during your training. Change up the weight of your tires by either adding a second tire or by adding a bag of dog food, kitty litter, or concrete to the top of your tire. Be sure to strap it down if you don't want it to topple off. Changing the weight of your tire means you'll be ready if your sled weight changes during the expedition. This can happen if you need to help out another team member with the weight of their sled, or if you pick up a resupply. Always be on the lookout for obstacles that you can surmount. Curbs, picnic tables, boulders, hills, all of these make great obstacles. Playgrounds are often a good place to find obstacles that you can drag your tires over. You'll find plenty of situations on an expedition when you need to maneuver your sled like this. You can use your tire for more than just pulling. For instance, lift it up, get a workout with your upper body and your core. These parts of your body should not be overlooked during your training. Or you can flip your tire, which is a great way to train for situations when your sled rolls on your expedition. Make a habit of tracking your progress. Keep a log of your distance, your pace, and your speed, the weight of your sled, and the terrain that you pulled on. You'll notice improvements in your efficiency as your training progresses. Train outside the box by pulling tires in all sorts of conditions, including when it's windy, or rainy, or cold, or hot. Pull when you haven't slept well, or when something's on your mind. Train for having to pull when things just aren't as ideal as you'd like them to be. Stretch before and after your tire pulling. If you're looking for good stretches for tire hauling and sled hauling, click on the link in the description below. How long should you be pulling your tire? Any amount is good, but on our expeditions, we generally pull our sleds around an hour between breaks. So consider one hour training sessions or combining multiple training sessions with a short break. The most important thing when pulling a tire is to just have fun because that's why you're going on the adventure in the first place and it's good to get used to having fun while you're doing hard work. Thanks for watching and good luck with your training.